Hello and welcome back to Living Supernaturally. Thank you for tuning in. This whole week we've been studying about our spiritual health. And today we're going to look at uh, one more test or one more check that we can uh, that we can do. We can look into our own lives uh, to see how we are doing spiritually. Now, physically, we could be doing many tests or checks to find out how we are doing physically. The same way, this check or test would 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 point us in the right direction, whether we need to take some corrections or whether we are doing okay, right? And this test or check is called the worship check or the worship test. You know, we as believers, we are created, we are wired to worship God. And uh, we have been created or designed to be in awe of God and to get a revelation from God and uh, which would inspire our hearts to worship Him. To worship Him meaning to give ourselves completely over, to surrender uh, uh, our lives completely and to pour out uh, in song, in words, in action through our lives, um, adoration and worship of God. So we've been designed to do that. Um, Matthew chapter 15 verse 8 and 9, the Lord Jesus talks about how uh, we can actually draw near with our mouth but we can still be far away. And he talks, he talks about vain worship. Uh, let me read those verses. These people draw near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Verse 9, And in vain they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. So the Lord Jesus is talking about a condition in people where they are saying the right things, singing the right th songs and honoring, they're doing, saying all kinds of things with their mouths, but their heart is actually far away from them, right? So, uh, so this is a test, this is a check to find out, you know, are we doing things uh, as of routine? Are we doing things, has worship, worship become a, a, a routine as a ritual, but uh, we're not engaged, our heart is not engaged in it. John chapter 4 verses 23 and 24, the Lord Jesus talks about how the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. The Father is seeking true worshippers to worship Him in spirit and in truth, meaning out of our innermost being, out of our hearts and in truth, without any pretense, without any hypocrisy. All right. So the question to ask is, do I worship the Lord personally in spirit and truth? Am I excited about God in worship? Is worshiping with others still a priority for me? Corporate worship. Is my worship extravagant? And am I worshiping God despite difficulties? No. We need to honestly answer these questions. And it, this is a check or a test to find out if you're doing spiritually well if you're thriving spiritually shall we pray father we we thank you that we can come to you in worship that we can come to you worshiping you in spirit and in truth and lord we thank you for showing us god that when we don't do that we are, it is empty worship and you do not desire it oh god you are seeking worshipers who will draw near in spirit and truth. And Lord, we pray that may we thrive spiritually, even as we draw near to you in worship, in spirit and truth. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.